Hello, Michael and Hello. Sarah. How are you? Good. How are you? Oh, I'm great. Oh my God. I love the show so much that when I got season two, I binged all eight in one seating. So thank wow. you. Thank you. And, I, <laughs> and it's no lie that I have to say Gordo and Tracy are my favorite characters. So Sarah, let's Hello. Just, uh, honestly, I got to start with you because who doesn't dream of going to space? I mean, you know, you don't have to be a geek to watch this show, but Sarah, come on. Putting on that spacesuit and representing women going to the moon. Come on! Yeah, it's it. You know, it, it it is funny that you that you say that because there there was it was bizarre and, and you know and talking to some of the other um, women on the show that that had to put on the spacesuit as well. You feel even though obviously we are we are not astronauts in any way, shape, or form, yeah. but you still feel the 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 weight of that responsibility and what that represents and what that means. And, um, and there, you, you know, they, I remember the first fitting I ever had for the spacesuit, and they put it on and I had such reverence. Um, pretty cool. It, yeah. It really felt like trying on a piece of history, yeah. you know, um, and, and somehow being connected to it, um, which, and, and I, felt strangely honored by it all oh absolutely. yeah absolutely and michael first off i have to say hi bob hi bob <laughs> <laughs> i just love that i just love that I love it. yeah it's cool it's yeah. fine but i uh, you know I, we're in the 80s now in season two um gordo's going through a few things i gotta feel a little bad for him and mostly that he can't fit back into his spacesuit but he gets there but for you to be able to play this guy um and and the drama that he goes through not just as the astronaut but on a personal level it's it's such a great role yeah it was definitely a real gift um and it was the same with season one as well the <laughs> The writers, what they'd give you to play with on the floor, just amazing. Um, and then to sort of, you know, when they first spoke to me, as you said, about Gordo not fitting into his suit, um, they, we talked about just, you know, they were like, we just get a, a extra padding and put that on. Or, you know, and I, I don't know, I just sort of balked at the idea of it being sort of fake. And so I, I just had to take that. I was like, no, nah, I'm going to do it. Let's yeah. just... Let's run with it. And, and that you and did. It was, uh, you know, it was a challenge physically and and it was an insight as well as to how inflamed your body can become if you do it that quickly. Yeah. And just things like sleep, not being able to sleep or any, of you know, like it's just a whole wild ride that in that sense of things for me personally. Um, but it, it, it all played into the character and then, you know, you get him sort of coming back and doing doing what he does yeah well listen i i know how much putting on the weight during covid yeah i can completely relate so i i wouldn't be able to fit into my spacesuit either there's no question <laughs> um, you know like I, said, like I was saying you know it's everybody's dream to, to be able to go to space but now this is becoming a reality i mean elon musk is doing this he is sending civilians to space i find this insane so i want to know because you guys are such aficionados now sarah let's start with you what would be your advice to these people growing up <laughs> oh god um well i think it depends on um i think it depends on on uh whether or not uh mr musk has figured out how to make that trip more like a plane ride or if it's if if it's if you're getting the full yeah. experience because me personally pass i just i, I would i could literally not stomach it i would be a wreck the whole time. So, um, but if he's figured out how to make the journey more like a, 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 a plane ride or a plane trip, well, just enjoy the ride. <laughs> enjoy the Absolutely. view, Michael, take some pictures. Michael, yeah, it takes a relax and, and enjoy the <laughs> yeah. minute, but Michael, yeah. Yeah. Hang, hang on and, and let go. Like, yes. I, I would have wanted to do it. There you, you know, go. I would have wanted to do it a while ago, but I don't know that I would now. Um, yeah. You know, you start to think of mortality uh, as, as you as you venture through life and <laughs> things I did as a young man. I, yeah, I don't know if I'd try it now. Happy with the speed element. Love going fast. Um, yeah. But I just, yeah. I had this moment when I first put on the suit for season two. It was a new suit. 
and the we put the the helmet on and the mechanism sort of locks and i'm sort of in the suit and then we couldn't figure out how to take the helmet off so i was kind of mm. stuck in the suit and i was sort of losing oxygen in there and i start, had that moment of oh no is this is this how i'm gonna go and i just imagine that that's how i'd feel if i was actually stuck in it that i'd i get that little gordo moment of oh, oh, oh can i get out now yeah <laughs> that's where i think i would thrive oddly enough oh yeah just stuck <laughs> in there yeah. Leave me alone. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah. alone time. Listen, congratulations to the two of you. Like I said, I love this show so much, and you two are so, so fantastic on it. Wow, Thank, you so Thank, you. Thanks, Thank you so much, Bonnie. Thank you so much, Bonnie.